Good morning, great ones. I had a bit of a glitch there this morning, but all is well. I'm ready for the night 2020. It's a lovely Tuesday. Shall we start? Enjoy the lesson. Okay, this morning we are going to do our usual numbers gymnastics. We'll quickly do that. Shall we go? Let's count together. We are counting in ones from 60 to 80. Here we go. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Good. So to the next one. Now we are going to count backwards from 70 to 40. Shall we count together? 70, 69, 68, 67, 66, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61, 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50. 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40. Well done. Now we are going to count in tens from nine up to 79. Shall we start? Ready? Go, look at my Kesa, 9, 19, 29, 39, 49, 59, 69, 79. Well done. Now we're going to be counting in sevens up to 42. Remember we said that, um, you know, these our fingers are a gift, okay? So let's use it. It's a, a free counters that we have been given. So shall we start there by seven? Okay, seven. And then we add another seven. Fourteen, there we go, fourteen. Twenty-one, another seven, we add seven. Twenty-eight, let's add another seven. Use your finger. Thirty-five plus seven, use your fingers. Forty-two, okay. Well done, well done, boys and girls. Now we are going to count in tens, and then we will be using our our lady beds there. Okay. So I want you. Do you all have your exercise book there by you? Do you have your exercise book and your pen? Okay, just take them and I want us to do it together. Okay, so it's seven. And then on your own, you're going to add the lady beds. Okay, um, it's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Write 17 for yourself there on a piece of pay, paper. So on top there, just write question one. 
Write question one there on top. If you've got a ruler, just underline it. And remember we said that on your page, you're going to write your name and your surname. You're going to write your grade. You're going to write that today it's Tuesday. And then you're going to write today's date, which is the 21st of July, 2020. Okay. After writing the next one, Add your lady bet again and give us the next number. Add the lady bet again and give us the number there. Add the lady bet again and give us the number there. And then add the lady bet again and give us your answer there. Uh, add the lady bet again and write your number there, your answer. Add the lady bet again and give us your answer there. Okay, are we done? Are we done, boys and girls? Okay, can I see, hands up to see that you are done? Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, uh, Boucher. Thank you, thank you. So let's check our answers quickly. Right, let's see. Let's check our answers. Okay, I want you to tell me what is the, the next number after seven. Just type it in for me. The next number after seven, counting in tens. Uh, remember, oh, we are counting in sevens, in sevens, one, two, three, four. Okay, I went to question two, sorry about that. Let's go back to question one. There, question one, we are counting in tens. Okay, so, um, yes, Boucher, I see Boucher gave me a number there, Abongiwe. Let's check the heading there says we are counting in tens from seven. So it's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There's our 17. So our next number after seven is 17. If you got it correct, put a tick for yourself. If not, just underline it. Don't erase it underline it and write the correct one next to it okay so that in future when you revise you will know that oh this one i got it wrong but here are the corrections yes kunashe yes Puseleto. good and then what is the next number after 17 i see which has already given me the answer can i see another one abongi we good the last one Okay, I will be the last one. The, the, the answer there is 27. Okay, thank you, Puseleto. 27, put a tick for yourself. Uh, I see Bushe already gave us the next one. Let's see the next one. Wow, Lole has already given. Oh, guys, you're going fast. That's great. So the next one is 37. Oh, wow, Terence gave us all of them. So it is 17, 27, let's count together, 37. Let's start over again, it's 17, 27, 37, 47, 57, we under count, 67. 77, good, well done. 
So you give yourself ticks for all the correct ones. Where it is not correct, you just underline and you write the correct one. Okay, let's go. Great. Let's go to the next one. The next one, we are counting in sevens. Okay. And then now here is the trick. How many ladybirds do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tricky, hey? But look at what it says they're counting in sevens. Don't be uh, misled by the number of ladybugs. They gave you more, right? Let's see, what is the next number after seven? Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember, we are counting. We under nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Good. So you write the number there and then do the next one. What is the next one? I'm done. Let's see who's done. Luale, look at the trick there. Okay. Uh, the trick there is that we are counting in sevens. We are not counting in tens anymore. Good. The next number is 21. Give yourself a tick there. And then what is the next number? Uh, Abongiwe, just check your numbers there. It's 21, 7 plus 7, it's 14, 14 plus 7 is 21, let's double check there, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, and so the next number there by 3 is 21 so you you put a tick for yourself there and then we go to the next one what is the next one after 21 yes Luale, it's 28 uh uyanda just check for yourself there i think you went quick okay you can just go back and add for yourself seven 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 Okay, so we are here by 28. It's 28. Let's count together. We under. It's 28 here. Ne? So we are going to count on. It's 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So here it's 35. Give yourself a tick there. Good, Luale, I see you have gone ahead. Busle, I see you. Good, Uyanda, I see. Now we are on the same page. Right, and then from 35 there, we are counting another seven. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. There's our 42 there. And then you tick for yourself. And the next one after 42, 40, 42 plus 7. If your fingers are quick, I see you. You finished all of them. Uyanda, let's do it again. We were, where were we? We were here at 42. Ne? We say 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. 48 and 49. So our answer is 49. And then you tick yourself there. Gabriel, I see you. Thank you. Busia, I see you. Good. And then we do the last one. So we were here. Here we were 49. 
to me i see you um 49 and then the last 7 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 and 56 our last number there is 56 i see great great we are on the same page good let's go to the next one so that was question two question one question two so this q here stands for question okay question two let's go to the next question Okay, those are our answers. There goes our answers. Right. Okay, and then you go to question three now. Okay, question three says, fill in the missing numbers. So on your page there, right, Q3, which is your question three, so it says there, fill in the missing number. Each column must add up to 10, okay? So what it means is that there, whatever you add there, it must give you 10, okay? So what is three plus four? You can use your fingers. Three plus four, what is three plus four? You can use your fingers. Okay. All right, let's see who's there. Aliha, tell us what is three plus four? Seven. It's seven, good, well done. So what must we add to seven to get 10? What must we add to seven to get 10? I still see some hands there. Busi, do you want to tell us what must we add to, to seven to get 10? What must we add? Busi? Three. Three, good. So there it's seven plus three, it gives us 10. So it means that on your page, just write three. Let's see. No, let's do it this way. On our pages, let's write three plus four plus three, and then you write equals to 10, good. You write it this way, uh, three plus four plus three equals to 10. Just write it this way, good, right. Now we go to the next one. Let's see the next one. The next one, it says two plus, mm, plus one equals to 10. So I want to know two plus one equals to what? Is there anyone there who wants to tell us? Two plus one equals to what? Can I see some hands there? Uh, okay, Gabriel has already given me. It's three, it's three. So what must we add to three to get 10? I see Abongiwe has already given me the answer. What must we add to three? to get 10. I see Reese there has given us the answer. I see Luale there has given us an answer. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, Reese, do you want to tell us? No. answer? What must we add to three to get to 10? Seven. Good, seven. So what are we going to write? We're going to say two. Thank you, Reese. We are going to say, uh, we are going to say two 
plus seven plus one equals to what? It is equals to 10. Good. And then we come to the last one. It says five plus mm, plus five equals to 10. What is our blank there? Can I see by, uh, wow, Terence has already given me. Luale has already given me. Let's see who will tell us. Let's see, Terence. Terence, can you tell us what are we going to add to five and five to get 10? Zero. Zero, do you agree with Terence? I do, well done. So what are you going to write there? We're going to say five plus zero plus five equals to 10. Well done, great ones, well done. Let's go to the next one. Okay, wow, now this one is subtraction. Let's see what it says, let's see. So we're going to write Q4, which is question four. Let's see, it says 20, it must be 20 minus five minus, we don't know, equals to 10. So let's see. Um, we can write for ourselves there 20 minus five minus something else, it must give us 10. Can somebody tell me what is that something else? What is the gap there? Uh, I see Aliha, I see Abongiwe, I see Reese, I see Tumi, let's hear Tumi, tell us. Uh, where are you Tumi? Right, Tumi, can you tell us, give, give us the answer? Ma'am, that's not my name, that's my dad's name. That's your dad's name, what is your name? My name is Riyad Lekhile. Okay, Riyad Lekhile, I will correct it. Okay, tell us Riyad Lekhile. Um, 20 minus five. Uh, 20 minus 5 is what? Um, you can break down this 20. Can you can you take away the 20 and make 5 at the bottom. Okay. All right. And then you get how much? Um, you get 10. Okay, 10 is your final answer, okay? But here, let's break our 20 into two, okay? Let's say it's, remember 10 plus 10 is 20. Do you agree? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we just focus on the, the 10. So we say 10 minus five. How much is 10 minus five? It's 10 minus five is five. Good, it's five. But remember, we have kept our other 10 there. Remember? Yes, ma'am. So 10 plus five, it's 50. Okay. So, but what must we do to 15 to get 10? What must we subtract? We've got 15, but we want 10. What must, how much must we take away? How much must we take away from 15 to get 10? Thank you so much, Riyad Lekhile. Um, Is there anyone who wants to tell us what must we take away? Okay, Luale, let's see Luale. Okay, Luale, can you tell us what must we take away from 15 to get to 10? You Luale? must take away Five. Oh, we must take away five. Good, we must take away 
five. That's correct. So there, our answer is going to be 20 minus five minus five is equals to 10. Good. Let's go to the next one. The next one is 12 minus... one. Let's see, let's see. Minus one. Okay, 12 yeah. minus one. And minus one must give us 10. Okay. What are we going to have there? Okay, Reese, I see Reese has given us an answer there. Let's see, Reese. Hello. Okay, Reese, can you tell us? Minus 12. So minus 1. Is 12 is, is, is 10 plus 2. Eh? Uh, you want to get to answer your 10. You want your answer to be 10. Reese. Yes. yes. So what can you tell us? Because I saw you gave us uh, a 12 minus 1 is what? You've got 12, you take away one. You are left with how much? 11. 11. But if we want to go to 10, what more must we so 12 minus one take one. out? You have 12. One. 13. No, you take away. Take away oh. one. Hey, that's correct. So comes our answer two? here is going to be 12 minus 1 minus 1 it gives us 10 thank you very much okay i see terence has already done the next one 15 minus something there minus 5 equals to 10 so what is our blank there okay let's start with what we see 15 minus 5. What is 15 minus 5? Fifteen minus 5. Terence, can you tell us what is 15 minus 5? Terence? Okay, Terence is, uh, is not answering. Let's see who. 10. It's 10. Okay, so if we've got 10 and we want to get to 10, what must we take away? Zero. We've got zero. Good. So our answer there is going to be 15 minus zero minus five is equals to 10. Well done, great, great ones. Okay, let's go to the next one. Is it easy to understand? Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you, Bushi. I see your answers. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, here is the next one. The next one says we have, that is question five. Okay, it says we have a fun day at school. The school has organized jolly rides, jumping castles, water activities, go-karts and other rides, okay? And let's see, and you have 20 rands, you've got 10 rand, you've got five rand, you've got two rand, you've got one rand, and you've also got 50 cents. How much do you have all together? How much do you have all together? Try not to use a calculator for now. Okay. 
Okay, let's see who got the answer there. You know what, I think just take, um, take a screenshot there in case we don't have enough time to finish. We will do it, but please take a, take a, a snapshot there, a screenshot. Okay, so anyone who's got an answer for that one? Have you taken? Have you taken the, um, the screenshot already? Okay, I see Boucher. All right, I see you. Have you taken a screenshot? I think we've got three minutes to go. Let's do it this way. Let me go to the homework. You take a snapshot of the homework and then we will come back here if we've got enough time, right. Okay, so you can do this as a homework if we don't have enough time. Right, okay. There is my answer, but um, I want us to do this one. So here is our homework. It says, you can take a snapshot of it as well first. Okay. Draw and label a number line with numbers starting from 30 up to 40. This is just an example of what a number line is. You're going to draw something like this, which we call a number line. And then your first number here will be 30. Then it will be 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, up to 40. Okay. All right. And then um, they say, choose and write any five numbers represented on the number line. Remember you have got 30 up to 40. So you choose any five numbers which are between 30 and 40. And then what you're going to do is that you are going to order the numbers from the highest to the lowest. You chose your numbers, maybe you chose 33, 34, 35. So you are going to write them starting with the highest to the lowest. So my highest that I've chosen is 35. So it means I will have 35, 34, and 33. And then I'm going to get a big tick there. And then the last one says arrange those numbers from the lowest to the highest. Okay. My lowest was 33. So it will be 33, 34, and 35. And then I'm going to get a big tick there. Okay. Um, let's see if we've got another one. Please make sure that you take a snapshot of it. Oh, great. There is no, no other uh, activity, no other homework. Okay, let's see. All right. Okay, there's the last one. Please take a snapshot of that as well. Okay, so here we fill in the missing number and then the column, each column must add up to 12 there. It must be 12. Each column must add up to 12. So we're going to say six plus three. It will give you whatever it gives you and then you will see, do you still need some more to get to 12? Same applies to those. Please take a snapshot. And if you need me to send you the homework, just request it here at my email address and then I will send it to you. Okay. 
I gave you a lot of homework, but not to worry, okay? Just request it and then I will send it to you. Here's my email address. There is my email address. Just request the email, just request the homework, and then I will send it to you. Great ones, it's been lovely being with you today. We had a lot of fun. Um, I will see you tomorrow, request the homework, and then I will certainly send it to you. Bye for now, see you tomorrow.